little patience Still hurting from a love I lost And feeling your frustrations That any minute all the pain will stop Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Today I'm gonna show you the intro of Patience by Take That. Uh, that's a song that I have covered before on my channel and I've done a reaction to that as well. If you haven't seen that video, that is probably one of my favorite covers so far that I've done. The link will be somewhere above here. Definitely check it out. It's a very fun video from my uh, travel experience in Greece. So, but that aside, I'm gonna show you how to play the intro of the song and that also counts as the verse actually of the song uh, because it's the exact same way to play it. Now, I'm gonna show you the original version, how to do it. And I'm playing it in a different tone for myself when I sing the song, but uh, I'm gonna show you the original and then perhaps you can choose to go lower with it or higher. Now, first of all, you can see that my capo is at the third fret right here. If you don't know what a capo is, I have a video for that as well. Click the link somewhere above here too if you want to see that video. But uh, you have different kind of capos. This is mine specifically for this guitar. So you have to put your capo on the third fret if you want to play the original uh, or at least the way they play it. So put it right there, tighten it just before the fret. Then we're good to go. Now for the intro you can always decide to go fingerstyle or use a guitar pick for this or a plectrum. I think it's easier with fingerstyle for the intro but if you want to do chords later on in the song, then I would perhaps advise using a guitar pick. First of all, I'm actually going to show you the chords of the intro, and then it's easier to understand why we place our fingers at these positions, okay? So, the four chords that we use in the intro are counting from the capo at least. We have the E minor chord. Then we have the G chord. Then we have the C add 9 chord, and I haven't shown a video on that chord specifically, but that's basically putting your ring finger on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string, then your index finger on the 2nd fret of the 4th string, and then your middle finger on the 3rd fret of the 5th string. And then we have the C add 9 chord. So that's the 3rd chord, and then for the last chord we have the D sus 2 chord which I haven't shown either but it's pretty simple we put our middle or ring finger on the third fret of the second string and then the index finger or the middle finger on the second fret of the third string and that's the D sus 2 chord okay so these four chords are the ones that we use E minor G C at 9 D sus 2 so now that we know the chords, we can basically use these positions to play our intro. So we start off in the E minor position and we play the 6th, the 5th and the 3rd string like this. And then I want to go to the G chord but I have one note in between that as a transition you could say. I'm gonna replace my index finger to the 2nd fret of the 6th string like this. And then I'm going to the G position. Then I'm going to play the sixth, the third, and the second string. And after that, the third string again, like this. So if we paste that together, starting with the E minor chord, we have this. Transition. Okay. Then we go to the C add 9 chord, so we replace our fingers like this. And we have the 5th, 3rd and 2nd string again, and we go back again to the 3rd string after that, so we have this. And then we replace to the D sus 2 chord, and we do the same thing, but we play 4, 3, 2, 3 again. 
the numbers that I use right now is the number of the string. So if we paste all that together, we have, starting with the E minor chord, G, C at 9, D sus 2. And that's basically it. We just repeat that part over and over again for the intro and the verses as well. So we have this. Just have a little patience And you can go a little bit faster then That's basically the speed at which we played Right? So that's basically it when it comes to the intro of Patience. Now, a little quick tip that I can give to you and make it a little bit easier actually is if we have the E minor chord, in this position you can actually just remove the middle finger because we only need the index finger to be there. So like this. And in the G chord, we can actually also remove a finger being the index finger. We don't need that one. In the C chord, the same thing. We only need our middle and ring finger. And then for the D sus 2 chord, it's the same as before. So it's even easier. So it's even easier as before. And if I play it like that, we have this. Okay, so that's basically it guys. Now this is the original. I play it actually without my capo. Not because it's easier to play, it's just impatience, the original. It's pretty high, even though they use head voice. Uh, I like to sing some parts in that with my chest voice, which, it, which makes it harder to go that high. So I like to play it a little bit lower, uh, which is easier for me to sing it that high, okay? So, but it sounds the same, it's just lower, like this. Just have a little patience. Right? So that's the way I play it. You can probably find out which tone for you will be right. You can go in between that, you can go higher, you have free choice because you have a capo like this and that's an easy tool to use. So guys, I hope you learned something again today. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Also don't forget to check out my other tutorials. I also have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. The link, will, the link will be somewhere above here, so based, then I would better put in your ring, and then the index finger on the, and then the index finger or the plug the right, it is plug the correct, like I, th like I showed you in the other fingers for the, uh, and the other fingers, and then my other fingers for the, uh, and then my, and then my other fingers for the lower three strings. And I'm, and I, no, so now we, and then for the D sus two chord, we it's it's just uh, so that's basic, right? So right, you should know for your you should.